been kind of a wild year for you, you know, the last few months. What's it been like, man? I mean, have, have you been able to stay positive? Has it been second guessing? What, what's it been like for you? No, you know, every fighter goes through this at some point in his career, whether it's injury, sickness, or they have to take a break for some kind of reason, and, and that's never happened to me. So I've never had to go through it. It was my time, you know. It's like, eventually the shit's gonna catch up with you. So what are you gonna do? Your opponent kind of ended up talking some trash about you last time after. What was it? I mean, here's a, a guy that's new to the UFC. You're, you're obviously been around for a long time. He kind of talks trash. What was your take on that whole thing? Man, I have no idea. I've taken fights with some of the best people in the world forever now. You know, I'm not afraid of anybody. This, this, this kid thought it was a good idea to talk crap. I called him out and said, hey, let's do it. Now it's his job to convince the UFC to make it happen. I told the UFC, I called him that day and said, hey, you put Levon and me together, I'll fight him next week. And they and, and they were like, well, come on, Nick. Like, we already, we, we were gonna, he was the only guy that would take the fight on short notice. You would have smashed him anyways, but you can't just feed him to the wolves like that. And you can't talk yourself into a top 10 fight like that. So, you know, if he wants to take something short notice, get in the UFC, actually do something before he talks some crap. Makes you know? some sense. Instead, you get the Charles Oliveira fight. Um, what do you think? I mean, this is a fight, obviously, so it's a weird history with this fight as well. Does it mean something to you? Like, is this something special to, to, to get this fight back and to do it again, or, or is it just another fight for you? Yeah, man, I think, I think it's kind of almost like fate, you know, because the first fight I looked at it, him and the same thing with, uh, with uh, Tiago, uh, Tavares, you know? We could see the old Nick Lentz, and now we can see the new one. You know, the new and improved thing. And it's a, it's a whole different guy, you know. I could beat that guy, the old Nick with one hand time behind my back. You know, that, that kid was just a tough guy. But this time I'm going to show him. I'm going to get Charles. I'm going to beat him up in Brazil. I'm going to be the only American to ever win three times down there. And then, you know, I'll, I'll just get a, get a vacation home down there or something. You're just going to keep fighting down there as much as possible? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to keep beating him up. And hopefully, ho hopefully they learn to love me. That's nice. I wonder because it does seem like you're kind of one of the guys that doesn't seem to get the respect that you deserve with the record, with what you put in. Is there anything you can point to? I mean, do you feel that at all that you're that you're kind of underappreciated? Is there anything you can point to to, to maybe watch? No, man. Just just at the beginning of my career, I was just tough. So I was in I was in some tough fights. I, I was just like this close to finishing guys, but I didn't have the right techniques. I didn't have the right coaches, and you know I didn't put on the performance that I'm capable of. Now I am. Now now all my fights have been very exciting. They've been very dominant, and you know I I, I guarantee you that this year, especially 2015, going into 2016, Nick Lentz is gonna be on the top of every card you see.